So I just purchased online a bunch of really cool old vintage speedometers. And I was going to use one of them on this bike. But then unfortunately I realized that it's got an electronic speedometer rather than a cable driven one. So I decided to use the stock one. But I still ripped all that stuff out of there. Um, and then uh, made a little bracket just to hold it in here. I think it looks pretty slick. One other thing is that the loner ignition that I've been using from a KZ650 obviously doesn't fit in this hole. So I went and had um, the ignition rekeyed. Now, when you rekey the ignition, see this is the stock ignition. I just got it rekeyed. When you rekey the ignition on these old Kawasaki's, you'll notice right here, right here is stamped a little code. And a good locksmith can take that code and make a key for it. It only cost me $14 to do this. I had to call around, though. A lot of uh, locksmiths were telling me, oh, we can't do it. Oh, it can't be done. you got to go to the dealer. Oh, uh, we can do it for $150, bucks, by which they mean they'll take the whole thing apart and use the, uh, the internal locking mechanism to, to figure out how to key it. Um, but you just got to, you know, be persistent, um, keep at it, keep calling around until you find somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. And uh, there you go, 14 bucks, new key. Also has the advantage of uh, working in the tank lock and the seat locks. Um, if I decide to hang on to those, it's all one key. So not too shabby. This is my bobber dashboard for the time being. Might change it up just a little bit further on down the line, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Peacock is in horrible condition. I'm going to have to see if this can be salvaged. It's looking much cleaner. Now for the reassembly. You know, I don't know why I think this little thing is so fucking cool, but I definitely do. Alright, that's all for today.